If you have anxiety, then keep watching, because in this video, I'm going to break down what anxiety is and why it happens. My name is Anne. I'm a psychotherapist, and this video is the first in a series of videos on anxiety that I've created for you to help you understand where your anxiety comes from and how you can fix it. So what is anxiety and why does it happen? Anxiety is a condition to fear response. So anxiety and fear are not the same thing. Fear is an emotion and anxiety is a conditioned or learned fear response. So anxiety is not just being afraid or worrying about something. Anxiety happens when we start to perseverate or ruminate on our fears almost out of habit. So when somebody comes in for therapy and they're diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, it means that they're experiencing a hyperactive fear response in one or more areas of their life that is way more intense than it needs to be. A little bit of anxiety is normal and even healthy, but people who have an anxiety disorder will experience that in an exaggerated proportion to what the situation requires. And ultimately this creates a lot of stress for people because what it does is it causes people to want to start to avoid the thing that makes them uncomfortable and the thing that makes them anxious. So on top of wanting to avoid, people with an anxiety disorder will experience a lot of rumination and perpetual worry. But here's the kicker. Just because you have anxiety or just because you have the capacity to get anxious does not mean that you have an anxiety disorder. For a lot of people who experience anxiety and a lot of you who might think that you have an anxiety disorder, the reality is that for most of us, it's just a normal response to stress. And I see this a lot in my clinical practice, and I see it even more so out in the world, especially on social media. People are diagnosing themselves with an anxiety disorder because they do experience true anxiety, but in reality, we're definitely overdiagnosing anxiety. We're definitely telling people that they have it when really they're just experiencing a normal stress response. So for example, if somebody were to come into my clinical practice and tell me, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pay my bills this month, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make my rent. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to eat. I'm not sure if my kids are going to be safe. I'm not going to diagnose them with a generalized anxiety disorder because that's a normal response to stress. And there's a lot of things that can replicate an anxious response in us physiologically. Stress just being one of them because stress creates anxiety, but it doesn't mean that you have disordered anxiety. It just means you're having a normal, natural, very important response to something that's happening in your environment that is potentially threatening. It's justified. Also, things like hunger can trigger an anxious response physically. And so depending on what you eat and when, you might be experiencing anxiety, but it doesn't mean that you have an anxiety disorder. And I think what happens the most, this is what happens most commonly in my clinical practice as a therapist, is that people are living a very stressful life. And anxiety is a natural response to stress. So they think they have an anxiety disorder, but really what they have is they have a stress disorder. What's happening is that they're reacting to their stress and they're experiencing a lot of anxiety and fear because they have uncertainty, they have chaos, they're disorganized. And then they think, well, I'm anxious all the time. I must have an anxiety disorder. And it's like, no, what's happening is that you're responding to your environment in a really natural and justified and understandable way. And anxiety is a natural byproduct of the disorganization and the chaos and the stress. And so when we can work on reducing people's disorganization and chaos and stress, generally their anxiety does go down. And if it didn't go down in that circumstance, then we would know, okay, this person has an anxiety disorder. They have a conditioned fear response that is unhelpful, that is abnormal. It's not something that is triggered naturally by stress in the environment that goes away when that stress or that threat has been removed. And that's a really important distinction that I don't think a lot of people are making. And so they're diagnosing themselves with anxiety when they really don't have an anxiety disorder. They have anxiety, but it doesn't mean that you have a clinical diagnosis. It just means that your life's a mess. And when you can fix it and clean things up, then usually the anxiety goes down and people realize, oh, I'm not that anxious of a person. I was just living in dysfunction. And so that was my response to that dysfunction was worrying about all the things that could go wrong or all the things that were going wrong. And then when things start to go right or things slow down a little bit and I don't have all that stress on me all the time, then I can breathe. And I don't have this worry that's constantly rolling through my mind and I'm not always so amped up and tense. So basically it's possible to have anxiety often but not have an anxiety disorder. Because when you live in chaos and when you live in perpetual stress, then you're going to experience a perpetual stress response in the form of anxiety. But it's not because you're conditioned that way, it's because you're responding naturally to what's going on around you. And as soon as you remove that stressor, likely your symptoms will reduce. So when we're talking about anxiety and how to fix it, 
What we have to do is learn how to distinguish between justifiable anxiety or fear and an overreactive conditioned fear response that is abnormal or problematic. And what I'm going to do in my next video is break down for you the emotion of fear. Because at its root, anxiety is about the emotion fear. Anxiety is just a manifestation of excessive fear. But in order to treat or to overcome anxiety, we have to understand fear as an emotion, where it comes from, what it is, why it's adaptive, and how to work with it. Because that then resolves often the conditioned fear response. That then often resolves our angst. And from there, we can start to feel better and actually overcome anxiety and not just have to manage and live with it because we don't have to feel anxious. Actually, you can recover from anxiety and not have it anymore. You'll still experience fear. That's normal. That's supernatural. You always want to have access to that emotion because it keeps you safe. But you don't need to have anxiety all the time. So my next video, I'm going to break down the emotion fear, what it is, why it's adaptive, and how you can use your understanding of fear to help you regulate your anxiety. So be sure to stick around for that video, and I'll see you on the next one.